Shipbuilding and Military Marine Robotics Unmanned Ship by 2025, Russian and USA. The Kalashnikov concern has proposed the idea of building an unmanned robot, capable of carrying several tactical unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, either aircraft or quadricopters, to the Ministry of Defense. The new ship, several dozen meters long and with a displacement of several hundred tons, would be developed as part of the integrated target program creating promising military marine robotics by 2025, approved by the Russian Defense Ministry. The fully autonomous system, the Triton, a concept proposed by the Zalan Aero Group, a subsidiary of Kalashnikov, will be able to conduct air, surface and underwater reconnaissance, and destroy targets using remotely controlled weapon stations, equipped with a 7.62 mm PKT machine gun. The vessel will be equipped with two 200 horsepower marine diesel engines, and will have a range of 750 nautical miles, a little more than 1,000 kilometers. The UFs will add another 30 kilometers to this range. We are actively developing our knowledge in the field of unmanned vehicles, Alexei Grivorochko, General Director of the Kalashnikov Concern, told Izvestia. Our goal is to integrate them into a system, parts of which can interact with each other. This idea of a system of unmanned ships on which unmanned aircraft are based, will enable us to patrol the coastline, and participate in search and rescue operations, in a fully autonomous mode. The final dimensions of the Triton are not yet known, but since it will be equipped with two diesel engines, it is assumed that this robot will be a long catamaran several dozen meters long. On board this unmanned aircraft carrier will be an impressive arsenal of television, radar and sonar equipment used to detect an enemy. This system will be able to not only independently keep track of the surface, air and underwater conditions in the patrol area, but also to direct frogmen, helicopters and boats of the Coast Guard against the enemy. UFs, such as the Flying Wings Ala 42108M and the Quadrocopter UAVs Ala 42121, belonging to the Tactical Reconnaissance Class will be stationed on board. These can be launched by hand and can transmit a picture of what is happening behind a nearby hill, grove or ravine to the control center. Crucially, because of their small size, these scouts remain virtually undetectable to the enemy, and can carry out secret radar or video reconnaissance. Vadim Kozailin, professor of the Academy of Military Sciences, said the development of air combat robots remains one step ahead of marine robot construction. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, of the Pentagon is developing a fully autonomous anti-submarine ship, the ACTUF, anti-submarine warfare continuous trail unmanned vessel, with a displacement of 140 tons, said Professor Kozailin. Operating it will cost about $15,000-$20,000 per day, which is much cheaper than if a similar task was assigned to a full destroyer. The latter costs around $700,000 per day. The first unmanned ship, the Sea Hunter, has already been shipped for testing to the U.S. Navy base in San Diego. The U.S. Navy expects to get the first batch of such ships in 2018. He said these ships would be used in packs of 10-15 ships, to find and destroy enemy submarines. The price of one unmanned vessel will be approximately $20 million, which is much lower than the cost of a modern ship with similar features. Thank you for watching. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe.